Hello my beautiful Pisces, welcome to this reading. My name is Mia and welcome, welcome to this channel. Right, we are going to do weekly reading for May 22nd through to 28th, 2023. Pisces, how are you doing? I really hope you're doing great. Now, before I start the reading, I want to say this is my only tarot channel. So if you see my videos or um, my videos somewhere else in, um, in different video channels, this is not me. Please report to me or YouTube as well, because there are impersonators really actively involved as well as I will never approach you first. I will never approach you asking for money, asking for readings, nothing like that. I don't have Instagram accounts. I only have a TikTok where I put the shorts, but I, again, I will never contact you or ask you for anything. Okay, right. Thank you so much for being here. I'm ever so grateful. Please subscribe, like, and comment as well. And let's just dive into the reading. Please keep your mind open. Please use your intuition and check your sun, moon, and rising to get more in-depth information. Right, what's going on right now? And then we're going to go and check out your um, recent past um current energy and your near future so we have mature woman and we had on the bottom as a shadow card was privileged lady wow and the sun guys hmm there's some some of you guys who are watching are real old souls and whatever you believe or not there's some regarding there's a reincarnation there's some sort of the reason why you're here in 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 this world the reason why you signed the soul contract signed the contract to come on earth has been kind of served to you and it's time for you to really it feels very big but it feels like yeah, you can do this. There's some sort of big task, big lesson. It could be sometimes very big that might scare you, but you are ready. There's some sort of gift. This is God-given gift. This is maybe you are reading tarot. Maybe you are healing people. Maybe the way you touch people's hearts, it feels like it's been given to you. It's 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 time for you to use it. And this could come various ways. Maybe you work in a shop. Doesn't matter. But somehow the way you interact with people is you deliver a message. Maybe you say something, you smile, and you could be the only person in the day that they speak to or you smile to them. And that's how you spread love. You're a light worker. You spread your love through whatever you do in your lifetime. And once you... It's very big. It's sometimes We all are light workers in a way because we, we are here to to deliver something some sort of lesson lesson that sometimes we are learning sometimes we are teaching here i'm seeing here is guys that it's time for you to start to expand more on what you do it takes the guts maybe not everyone's ready for it but it's a gift it and it could be a situation that is coming your way to do so let's dive in let's dive in This is definitely a positive, positive um, omen to have. In recent past, how did you get here? Four Cups. Four Cups is haunting these readings. Haunting. Two, two Swords or Two or High Priestess was haunting 2023 readings. That's for sure. You're joking me. And at the bottom we have the no, no, nine, of cup, nine of Cups and Ten of Cups. And again, twos. there's some synchronicity going on. And you can't ignore that. There's some signs and messages that you are receiving. And even though you felt like nothing's coming your way, it's coming. You can't... It's like Santa bells, Santa, reindeer bells. It's like before Christmas, you can hear them if you believe it. And there is some sort of something regarding your belief system. You might not show it, but it's there. I kind of have this feeling, I will clarify, but I kind of have this feeling, have you been, what's the right word would be? Have you been hiding that you can do this? Have you been hiding because you 
you were scared that you might be misunderstood or is this maybe in the community or family or country wherever you are watching is something that you cannot do and it sounds very big and ominous but lovers choices gemini it feels guys that it involves other people it's some sort of healing and, and i know some of the communities that's been kind of frowned upon okay it's been kind of viewed as a witchcraft maybe there's something that you're different and you've been not really open about this three of swords mm -hmm. three of pentacles high priest okay hmm. there's some definitely in synchronicities we have two twos two threes and when you see high priest it's a regarding regarding religion regarding spirituality keep your mind open keep your mind open you have a gift look how he's holding the hand come i'll show you how okay and high priest taurus hierophant is saying please shine your light please deliver what you meant to do please don't hide behind fear don't hide behind that love will always win and you kind of like learning how to overcome because you have had some someone has mocked you or someone has um talked badly about you and that's really hurt and you kind of went in your own shell but this is bigger than this you have a kind of mission to deliver maybe you are starting um workshops maybe you're speaking in front of people something you gotta they will hear you and that's for sure it doesn't matter how you're gonna uh um you can hide your person you know personal information if you feel unsafe you know but this is something that needs to come out this is something that maybe you're starting to run some even faceless some sort of youtube um videos or writing about things and somehow spreading the word hint by hint you are delivering something big Right, current situation. Yeah, new emotional experience. Look at this. Wow, guys. This is you. You are a very powerful person. And no one, no one or nothing can take that away. You have ability to turn negative into positive, turning misfortunes into fortunes. And I don't see as much as, as for regarding money, but you don't do this just for money. You do this because you can't not do it. It's kind of like you're calling. This is how you make it's, it's emotional fulfillment. And it brings you a lot of joy. You are so passionate about this. So passionate. And it's it's kind of spread. It's kind of have a ripple effect. Let's dive in, Pisces. I know it sounds very deep, sounds really... Yeah, here we go, right in the deep end. Here we go. And it comes with responsibility. Okay. But this is you are fighting for. Are, are you fighting for or you are standing up for something? Okay. I don't think you are as much as fighter, but you are lover. But you, you are here to deliver a very strong message. And you are sticking to your guns. And you're going to take action. You're not going to watch it happen. But you're going to be very proactive. Big picture. Some of you guys are very good, great leaders. You see the vis... Oh, here we go. Four swords. There's some... We have the three swords, like the upset. You're healing. There's a lot of healing around... Either you're delivering or you need as well. We're going to clarify in a minute. Look, we have four ones. Generosity. Interesting. We have Leo here. We have Libra here. What I'm seeing here, guys, is there. You are, your commitment has been tested in a ways. You are going to deliver a lot of good to a lot of people. And a lot of fairness. They will, what you say, what you do, is gonna make might not make to you sense at the moment, but will make sense to others. 
and justice is going to be served. Fairness and balance. Balance between communities, balance between haves and not haves. The 1% and 99%. I know you what I mean, right? Let's have a look. Is this going to pay off? You don't know. But you are not doing that just for your own recognition. You're doing it to make... And you're kind of helping. This is kind of like a Mother Teresa's energy. There are a lot of people just... It's very important though for you to realize there will be people who need are in need and they are who are needy. But you will know that. Queen of Wands again. Passion. Two of Cups and the Moon. Here we go on yourself. You're going to bring a lot of joy and healing and light to a lot of people's hearts through this, through what you do that you're passionate about. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. And that's all I have for you today. I really hope you enjoyed. Let me know in the comment section and don't be strangers. Subscribe, like as well. And I'll see you in the next reading.